I'm back today with a Christmas card. I'm a little late for Christmas in July, but I thought today I would shop my stash. And speaking of shopping my stash, I'm going to start a new seri series that I'm going to be calling Shop My Stash or Shop Your Stash. So I'm going to shop my stash, you shop your stash. <laughs> anyway, um, I thought because you know, I don't know about you, but I bought so many Christmas stamps last year and never got to use them. And it's a shame too. So I thought I'd shop my stash and I came up with this cute little stamp set from Jane's Doodles. Um, I also, I looked this stamp set up and it is still available on the Jane's Doodles stamp set. So I'm not using anything that's, that's too much except for one pad of paper. So that pad of paper you see right now is, um, really rainbow Christmas that's still available but one of the pattern papers that I do use comes out of a, a pattern paper pack called Hello Winter and that's not available but I'm using just um, snowflake paper and you know there's so many Christmas pattern paper packs that have snowflakes in them so it's not like you know you won't be able to find it in your stash I'm sure you have some in your stash so I'm going to stamp out my images and I'm going to heat emboss them using some icicle uh, embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. I use some Versifying Clear Nocturne ink to stamp the images out and I'm going so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this out get it all ready to go. I'm going to color the car and the dog for you and while I do that as you can see here I'm going to let you listen to some music. Alright enjoy! one car done. <laughs> so here I'm showing you my paper packs and that's the ones that I um, I was talking about before the Hello Winter pack. 
I chose uh, one pa paper from there and one paper from the Really Rainbow pack. And I used an A2 die from A2 stitch rectangle die from My Favorite Things to cut it out. So I'm just basically uh, assembling my cards, the putting the idea in my head to the paper now. So I mean it's a very simple design. It's a scene basically, and you can you can only do scenes so many ways, right? I look back at it now, and I I had chose some greens from the uh, paper packs. You know, I'm thinking hills, and then I'm looking after I was all done and I had it all assembled. I was thinking, oh my God, you're crazy. I should have had white for snow, right? It's snowing out. We'll just say it's just started snowing and it hasn't accumulated yet. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish assembling. Now, it, I stamped out all the images and I colored all the images. And then, you know, you look at it and you go, okay, where am I going to put half these images? Because there's only so much real estate you have on a card, right? So I thought the little owl looked cute tucked behind the, the car. So, as if he's peeking out going, you, here I am. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down my um, frame. My panel, I mean. And start assembling my scene. I'm going to be using some black cardstock from Gina K Designs to heat and pass my sentiment. Uh, one of the sentiments and some more dies for the others. So I'm just raising my hills up here a little bit so that they're um, one's higher than the other one so it can be, you know, layered. I should have probably used some foam tape on it, but you know what, I use foam tape on my cards 95% of the time on pretty much everything and then after a while, see here I'm using foam tape on the car. I, I pop up my, my um, I really love dimension. So I tend to use foam tape on my elements. Sometimes I put it in the back, uh, you know, on the background scenery if I'm doing a scene card. But most of the, most of the time, I, I glue the scenes down and I just um, use dimension on my images. So I'll go ahead and I'll assemble my scene, as I said. So yeah, talking, expanding on the um, shop your stash. I encourage you to shop your stash. You know, uh, we have, I guarantee you, you have a lot of stamp sets in your stash that you have not touched yet. Am I right? I know I did. And I have a lot of dies. I have interactive dies from Lawn Fawn that I haven't used yet. I mean, it's just crazy. You know, you have to have it, you get it, and you're like, you don't use it. You know what I mean? It's just insane. <laughs> So it's not just a crafting thing that we have, it's a collecting thing that we have, right? So this year, well, I'm not in the new year, but <clears throat> in this particular season, I am attempting to spend less money, which I haven't, if you've noticed, I haven't had many hauls. I have been spending money, and I have been buying things, but not a big amount, so that's why I haven't done any hauls, because they really haven't amounted to much. Um... It was. It's just usually a thing here, a thing there. I do have an accumulation of things that I've de-stashed, and a couple of things that were. Um, I stamped them out and got them ready for my my inventory, and found out I already had them. So they're brand new. I've never even used them. So I'll probably use them as a giveaway. I'm at four, uh, three ninety nine right now. I'm almost to hit four, and once I hit four, I'm going to do a giveaway. And what I'm going to do is probably use those two stamp sets, maybe. Um, as a giveaway and then add something to it. So I did do the inside of the cards as well. I used a stamp set from Simon Says Stamp called Christmas Wishes. It also came out last year and it has some really great sentiments on it. So I used that and I used a couple of snowflakes, stamped them out. I actually used the season's greetings on the other, one of my cards from the actual stamp set that I used jeans from Jane's Doodles. So that pretty much sums up my cards. So yeah, I'll probably uh, use I'll use a um, Simon Says Stamp um, gift card, an electronic one, you know, that you get emailed to you as a as a um, giveaway. But let me know what you guys think as far as giveaways go. What would you like to see? A different store, you know, online store or 
I can do that. Any any store that does uh, online gift cards, I can do that. Just let me know what you guys uh, think. I'd be more than happy to uh, take a, an, ad, an advice, an advisement. <laughs> Words are so hard today. <laughs> so here's my cards. Here's some close-up pictures. I did uh, have a trouble with my my lighting too. My my window, my good window that I take pictures in front of, has an air conditioner in it now in my bedroom. Isn't that awful? So now this is what I have. I have shadows. See them? But it is what it is. And it worked. I think the, they came out fine. With the exception of the shadows, like I said. <laughs> so the supplies I used today will be listed in the description below. I'll also list my colors of zig markers that I used as well. If you have any suggestions for future videos, I'm all ears. Leave me a comment and I will take a look at it. I hope you enjoyed today's project from this Christmas card from Jane's Doodles called the stamp sets called um, Home for the Holidays. And if you did, why not go ahead and give me a thumbs up? So I have a new video all set and ready to go just about. I just need to finish one more thing and then I'll have another video hopefully this weekend. So. I'm trying to get a little bit more consistent with my content. Uh, now that I'm not taking my art classes anymore, I should be able to do that. So look for that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you have a fantastic day. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you soon. Bye now.